Hey everyone, happy Monday. Today is the last part of our three-part mini-series entitled Course Correction. The first week we talked about the fifth chapter of Galatians verses 13 through 15. It is important to not take the gift of free will for granted. Last week we talked about Proverbs chapter 4 verses 20 through 27. We must guard our hearts. Today we're talking about liminal space or time spent in the waiting rooms of life. It's hard being in the waiting rooms of life. Often we fear our loss of control, or simply put, we are just afraid of what we don't know. Fear of the unknown is huge, and that's a very human emotion. They're very encouraging verses, as always, in the message translation. Today, those verses come from the 14th chapter of John, starting with verse 18. I will not leave you orphaned. I'm coming back. In just a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you're going to see me because I'm alive and you're about to become alive. At that moment, you will know absolutely that I'm in my Father and you're in me and I'm in you. I'm telling you these things while I'm still living with you. The friend, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send at my request, will make everything plain to you. He will remind you of all these things I have told you. I'm leaving you well and whole. That's my parting gift to you, peace. I don't leave you the way you're used to being left feeling abandoned, bereft. So don't be upset. Don't be distraught. Friends, I hope you will join me in getting used to different. Like the conclusion of that verse just shared. Jesus is not going to leave us the way we're used to being left. He is going to help us get used to different. He is always with us, especially when we're in the waiting rooms of life. So let's work together to get used to different so that together we can help love, peace, and joy be the law of the land. I look forward to seeing you hopefully this Ascension Sunday, but if not, I will see you same time, same place next week. Love, joy, and abundant blessings to you, my dear friends.